Hello everyone. So welcome back to this channel once again. And in this video session, I'll discuss uh, using row ID in IBM I SQL DB2. So basically, uh, row ID is another way to uh, include the identity column uh, facility to your table. So basically, it is exactly same as an identity column, uh, but uh, so this is basically uh, used as a unique way to generate the unique values to the table and uh, identify the records uniquely. So let me move on to the IPMI where I can show you the demo for this that how we create this row ID. Uh, one more thing uh, apart from this uh, the identity columns are always a uh, numeric uh, data type but here in this case uh, this is again a separate data type that's a row id so we do not have to have the numeric data type for this it's a separate data type itself that is row id so let me show you just create a table let's say pf2 I'm going to have field one as row ID, comma field two as char ten. Okay. Okay, so T that's E. So table two PF two is created. So if I look at the data currently. There is no data at all. Let's insert some record. Let me insert one record into this. So I do not need to insert P1 because that's a row ID. So that is automatically generated. Let me insert A here. Again, insert some value. Let's say B. Now, if I do select the star from pf2 i'll see two rows inserted and we have some values that is not interpreted and that's a row id value so that will uniquely identify this row so if i want to see what the value is what i can do is i can select the columns let's convert it to the hex value so you can see this uh, hex value here so that's a unique value. So both the rows can be uniquely identified, identified in this table using the row ID thing. So if I do DSP FFD on PF2, what I'll see is field one is of data type hex, as you can see. So that's the buffer length and the starting position variable in field allocated 26 user defined data type row id so the this is the thing basically here you'll see the car was the data type here you see the row id was the data type and that's a user defined data type and this data type is defined in the library qsys2 generated always that's by default i can also uh, uh, use and you can see one more thing is for this column the coded character sets that the, that the ccs id is 65535 default so when i was creating the table i may mention row id and generated always but that's not required that's optional to use because that's the default thing so that's also the syntax that we tell you. So this way, uh, I'm using the row ID approach in my SQL DB2 IBMI. So that's all. Thank you.